Hey everybody, it's me, Mr. E, and today we are going to play some Neo Scavenger. It's a uh, game by Blue Bottle Games, of course, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner. And, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool game. I played it a little bit before, just the demo, so this is the first time I've played the uh, new game, or the actual game, I guess, but I assume that the demo is pretty close to what the new game is, or the full game is. It's this, it's this button, it keeps on tempting me to say new game, it's glorious red, like, pushing quality. All right, let's play. Um, so, the premise behind this game is that you are in a post-apocalyptic world and you wake up as a um uh from cryo sleep or whatever they call it in this and you have to survive so that's fun it always is it always is like that right um so this is a little bit different from the original game or the demo god i keep on okay it's the demo that i played and this is the real game, or the full game, as normal people like to call it. Uh, so you get all these uh, abilities here, and then you get all these flaws down here. And uh, it plays a lot like um, a World or uh, world of Darkness game. For all those people who used to play Vampire the Masquerade, or still do play Ma Vampire the Masquerade, it's similar to that or any other point-based thing. So you grab one of these and then grab one of these or click it now, I guess. So you have like these four little points here, it looks like, and I used four and I have 11 left. Now I can get more points by adding a flaw. So see, I got four extra. Four plus 11 is 15, so there we go. Um. All right, when I was playing originally, I would take um, medic, hacking, electrician, and mechanic, I think, is what I used to take. Uh, and botany, botany I used to take as well. Um, those in the, uh, in the, uh, demo allow you to, uh, in the demo that was, like, pretty much it you could take without getting, like, using a flaw. So this is kind of cool. I can actually get an extra one, or I can get tracking now. Um, but uh, I don't know. That never really helped me. <laughs> I always died. <laughs> I played very many games. I played about two hours worth of it, and I think I played maybe ten games in two hours. So it's one of those games where you have to die a lot to play, a lot like FTL. Or, um, well, FTL's the game that I can think of right off the top of my head. I'm sure there's more. If you have a game that you love to play where, uh, you, where it has that same premise, where you die a lot and you learn crushingly, then uh, put it in the comments. Blue. All right, so uh, let's look at all this stuff. We got strong... Uh, carry more without being encumbered. Me melee attacks are more damaging. Can create obstacles in combat. Uh, I don't know what create obstacles in combat is, but um, carrying more is pretty awesome. Uh, melee attacks, because in the beginning, if it's anything like the demo, holy crap, you don't find any weapons. So that would be nice. Botany. Um, pretty much when you're out into the forest, you have a higher chance of finding food and, uh, at least in the demo, like wood and such to craft things. But, uh, again, I could not craft anything very useful, even though you'd think that you'd be able to craft a lot more out in the forest with, I don't know, a tarp and, uh, a piece of wood. We'll, we'll find out if that changed. Hopefully it did. Deleted hide is more effective camp. Concealment stat visible on camp screen. Um, I can't remember if that's a new thing or not. But pretty useful, I guess. Better chance to hit in melee combat. 
Higher wound severity, better defense in combat, can leg trip in combat. Uh, I think I used that once in one of my games. Um, again, this is another thing that you're going to be doing probably a lot because I didn't find any weapons or I didn't find any guns or bullets. I found a leatherman that I used to like cut people open, but it that's not true towards towards the uh, 10 way uh, like 10 games in i ended up actually starting to kill people and that the last game was probably the longest the farthest i ever got in the entire game but of course i died uh because i met someone that had a hunting rifle or something and they shot me from like a million miles away uh metabolism this just means that you essentially don't need uh, to eat food as much, I believe, is what it is, right? Or is that... Yes, it means that you don't have to eat as food food as much and your uh, healing rates are, um, I guess, reduced. Eh, that doesn't really make much sense. I would assume that it means that your healing rates are faster with that. All right, athletic, less fatigue per move. That probably means that you have more turns per move. Uh, more... Uh, what they would be called an XCOM is time points or action points. Um, you get that in this game too. So I would assume that that means that you get to do more stuff during those times, during your turns. Tracking would probably be helpful. Can spot older tracks or yeah, older tracks than normal and high tracks more effectively. Eagle Eye probably means that you can increase your line of sight. Um, I would take Myopia uh, because I am myopic, and uh, I felt like it was it, it was you know I was making myself in this game. So you actually saw like one hex. So I, in any of the games I played, because that you could only choose like four. Uh, abilities in the beginning uh, i chose myopia because it gave me an extra slot for uh, the myopia flaw to give me an extra slot to get five um because it seemed like the most easy <laughs> easy flaw <laughs> obviously because it has a one dot now um and i also used to take metabolism too to like get that get one extra one usually um you know i can't really remember probably lock picking or something. Um, so uh, Eagle Eye would probably, I guess it would make you be able to see three square, three hexes away instead of two, which I assume is the default. But like I said, I never know. I never knew because I never chose it. Never went default. Uh, improved healing rate via procedure training, sterilization techniques, more detailed stat bars on conditionings, on condition screens. That was pretty effective. I use that one a lot, obviously, because it's the end of the world. Figured that that would probably be a good thing to start off with. Um, never use this one, so I assume that it's pretty awesome because I like headbutting. So headbutting, having the ability to headbutt in combat would be pretty cool. Um, trapping. Never really came across any... Well, I, no, that's not true. I came across, like, mutated waste animals, but uh, never, like, an animal that I felt comfortable eating without <laughs> in that game. <laughs> um, hacking, I always took this one because I figured that there was going to be computers, and I'm somewhat right. You'll see in a moment. Um, ranged combat. I assumed that this is uh, for pistols and and uh rifles and stuff as well as probably bows and arrows i assume is something that they have in this game uh mechanical or mechanic mechanical systems and components i thought that this would be more effective i have yet to live long enough for it to be actually effective maybe when you come across cars which i did occasionally but uh, no electrician uh, I thought this would be effective too, but I per probably didn't get far enough to for it to actually be effective. Lockpicking, probably the best one, though it uh, when I came across points where I think I could use it, didn't seem to be useful very much. So 
So we'll look at the um, uh, this stuff. Um, fragile, obviously, makes you. It's like the opposite of um, strong, I believe, or tough. Probably tough. Yeah, tough. Um, never took that one because it seems like a pretty serious flaw. Uh, metabolism uh, just means you have to eat more, more often. Uh, this one, pretty easy to take. Another easy thing like myopia um, to uh, use as like a flaw that you could, uh, you know, easily get away with. Because it didn't, I, I also had, I also combined it with uh, the uh, botany thing because it's pretty easy to find food to eat when you have botany. Um, feeble, never really use this. Because it seems like pretty damning effect. As you'll see, I'll probably die once or twice. Uh, I already discussed this. Um, huh, that wasn't in the demo, I don't think. Eh, I guess it could be a good flaw. That seems like it should be a higher thing, though. That that seems like that flaw should be higher, though. Um, Insomniac. I never took that one. That one also seems like it should be higher because, yeah, you'll you'll see how the daylight and, like, nighttime stuff goes once we start playing. Okay, so let's choose some stuff. I am going to take lockpicking, and I'm going to take medic, and I'm going to take botany. Ah, at least four left. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I guess I'll take electrician just because it's one point. Uh, hacking, why not? Lose me with one. Uh, I'll take my OP. No, let's let's do let's do a flawless. Um, yeah, let's let's just do this thing. Uh, let's see, lockpicking, medic, bonnie, electrician, hacking. Sure, why not? Let's try it like this. All right, confirm. One use if you want to forfeit extra points, then click confirm again. Okay, confirm. Thanks for watching this long. This runs on for a little while longer, so I decided to break it up into smaller sections. Like and or subscribe, and I will see you later. Keep it secret, keep it safe.